Hello, I'm going to show you how to use Genesis 64 to edit data from a database. In Genesis 64, we can use it to edit data from the database. I can see uh, what, it, what, what are in the database and I can add new raw, insert new data, then apply change to the database. Okay. I can uh, I can use the filter to filter the data what I want to see for such I, I would like to see the uh, data from position of the account then I select the account filter and then click OK it could see only the data from the position account if I disable the filter all data will appear again. I can also delete some data from the database. Delete raw and then click OK. And apply change to the database. First of all, we need to create the data connection in Workbench then open workbench and select grid work server expand and select SQL server connection because in this example I will use the data from SQL server I need to delete some example here. We will create the new database connection by right click on SQL Server connection and choose new database connection. Define the name of the connection. And click on change connection. In the first time, you will you could not see any connection in the SQL Server connection. Then we need to create a new connection string and select the SQL Server that you would like to connect. In this example, I will connect to the local SQL Server and use the NT window uh, authentication. Select the database and then click OK. Choose the connection string that you have con uh, that you have created and click OK. And then click apply. Right click on the connection that you have created and click uh, and select new data source. Type the name in the uh, name text box, such as T2, because in this example, I will connect to the data table name is T2. In the database test and data table T2, It is some data. So, uh, it is some data in this table. I will delete all data and create some new data. I will create some new data in this table. Okay, now get back to Workbench and select Edit Command Text icon. Select Simple SQL Designer. In this portion, you can select the table that you would like to connect to. Click on uh, Browse icon. 
and expand the table DBO and select the table that you would like and click OK you can specify what column you like to uh, edit or display on the data grid in this example I will select on and click and then click OK you can specify insert command and click on yes proceed with auto refresh to automatically create a insert command for you if you would like to update and delete command created for you too you can select it and go to update command tab you need to specify the table the same table and click OK it could create some parameter for you P1, P2, P3 and P4 in delete command tab you need to specify the table as well but in the command type it is delete on parameter for this command if you would like to delete some parameter you can specify it in this example I use the parameter P1 and P2 refer to name and S name column you need to specify the data type and length to those parameter for P1 I use data type the build string and specify max length to 50 refer to the column name do it again with P2 refer to S name data type the build string change the refresh period to 15 or some value then click apply now go to graphics on the control tab select grid works viewer and face on the workspace double click on it to create a connection to the grid work server on the grid branch and on the source tab click on icon Add new subscription and select dataset tag subscription. Go to home, select database, SQL server, data log, data source, and select the data source that you would like to connect and click OK. Close it and start runtime you can see this is the that data from the data table click on the data grid and refresh it is only two column of data if you would like to add some data click on add new row and type some data here then click apply change sorry you have to enter first enter and then apply change okay if you would like to create some filter 
you can create on you can create filter on filter icon and then add some filter for example if I would like to filter on position I can create the filter name position and select uh, name uh, sorry select on position double click on it equal to engineer then click OK select on position filter and click OK it will show the data that has position is engineer unselect position and click OK it will show all data from the database.